Hey there, welcome to your reading. How does he view you right now, right? In this moment, okay? I will share with you all the energy that does come through. And like always, I will not leave anything out. So let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three cards and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hi, number one. Welcome to your reading. How does he view you right now? I am going to give you the scoop, the insight, okay, on the energy that does come through on how he sees you, perceives you, right? I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. So let's jump right into your reading. Here, you're naturally drawn to your card holding the green adventuring crystal. Now, this is a perfect choice for you. This is the stone of opportunity, okay? That's the energy of the green adventuring. I actually love this crystal because it is the raw crystal. It is before it is just straight, straight out of the earth, right? Before it is polished and, and shined and stuff like that. Although I do love polished crystals, but this is completely raw. Okay, so with this green adventuring crystal, this is this energy that uh, if it's if it's the stone of opportunity. So what does that tell us? That tells us that this green adventuring it helps you to manifest. Okay, it helps strengthen your relationships. It's also like just this gentle and calming crystal, right? That helps promote mental clarity. All right, so this is a perfect choice for you. You also are drawn here to the card representing the muse. With the muse energy, there is Venus. So it's the planet Venus. Planet Venus does rule over Libra and Taurus. Okay, so with Libra and Taurus coming through, I'm picking up, especially Taurus, you know how Taurus are stubborn. Taurus are stubborn. And when Taurus has their mind made up, you cannot tell Taurus what to do. So this is how he is viewing you right now, like, He's saying, I cannot believe that she will not listen to me. He's feeling like he can't convince you of anything right now. And in this moment, Venus also rules over Libra. So Libra is significant. Social Libra, observant, right? That's that Libra energy, okay? And creative as well as adventurous. So with that observant energy, right? He know that he cannot. He can't lie to you. He can't play games with you. Cannot pull the wool over your eyes, right? And you can see him. You can see his BS, right? You know what's happening. So this is like the intuition. With the intuition, you have the moon. The moon, of course, rules over cancer. Cancer with the moon. So with the moon coming through and cancer, there's that sensitive energy. So I'm definitely picking up that he's in his feelings about, you know, not being able to persuade you to do something that he wants you to do. You're just like, I'm not going there. I'm not doing it. Okay. So here with I Spire and I am inspired low key. This dude is inspired by you right? Your personality, the characteristic traits. You have like this harmonious energy where you're able to like quell any sort of trauma or walk away from things that, you know, that aren't serving you. You just have that, that stability about you, you know, especially with that Taurus energy coming through. So I also do want to point out that with Taurus and Libra showing up here, this is, um, those two zodiacs, that earth and that air, that could be in the top placements of your chart or his chart as a confirmation in the reading. So this is like divinely connected energy here with Venus and the muse. So this is, he sees you as someone that's definitely spiritual, not religious, but spiritual. You're spiritual, passionate, emotional, and sensitive person. So you're sensitive as well. Okay. And he does recognize that. So let's gain more insight. And what is the energy as it does relate? How does he view you? Quite frankly, what's popping here? Ooh, you're mysterious. I love the your mysterious card coming out. And also it is the exact same color combo as your card here with the muse that you were naturally drawn to. So just starting out your reading, just starting out your reading, there's a correlation right there. So I am intrigued to see 
how the rest of your reading does go, okay? He says, I can never seem to figure you out. And sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. Never really know where I stand with you. He's like, what's up? Where do I stand with you? What's popping, right? right? And that came through. You know, he never knows where he stands with you. The mysterious energy, that's water. That is Scorpio. It's Cancer. It's Pisces. It's mysterious. You're not telling him your business, right? You're not sharing too much, right? It's like TMI. You felt like in the beginning, like, wait a minute, this is TMI. I am just telling this dude all of my business. He's all into the no. And so like you decided to pull back that energy. And so now he thinks like you're hiding something from him or you're lying to him about something. But let's gain more insight. Girl, this dude. So what is the energy spirit as it does relate? What is this energy coming through? What's, what is the energy? What's happening here with this energy spirit? Virgo, the alchemist, Virgo. See, Virgo has a witchy energy as well. You know what I'm saying? Virgo is the alchemist, methodical, baby, aligned. You are aligned, actually, with the greater version of who you are. Baby, you have tapped in to your self-respect, right? You are assured walking your journey right now, right? You, you have that energy, that energy of, like, strength. Okay, it's like courage you're walking with right now. And of course, Virgo could be in the top placements of your chart or his. So it's that discerning energy, right? Because spirit has downloaded that discerning spirit within you so that you can peep whether or not he's lying, playing games, telling the truth or what. And you're like at this point, hey, baby, you better come correct. Or guess what? Don't come at all. Do not come at all if you're not going to come correct because I am no longer playing no games with you, okay? So with Virgo and that alchemist energy coming too, it's like, it's it's subtle. It's subtle though, because Virgo here is earth. So it's, it's reliable, it's stable, um, it's, uh, it's grounded, and it's loyal. It's loyal. So you're like, hey, if I'm loyal to you, then you better damn be loyal to me. You better be effing loyal loyal to me if I'm loyal to you. Because guess what? It's not going to work out if, if you're not. Okay. So with methodical here in the line and it's discerning, right? Accurate. You're accurate. He knows it. He's like, I feel like there's something that you called him out upon, right? And he was, he was kind of like lying about it. You called him out and, and you could clearly see the signs it, they matched his actions as well as your intuition, right? And he's saying to himself now, damn, how could she be right about that shit, right? But you are like, it, but you already know, you know what I'm saying? You already know that what you see with him, that, that it was accurate. So he, he, he's saying like, she's, she's, she's right. So there's like this nervous energy, right? There's this nervous energy that's coming through about him. You know, little fid fidgety, little fidgety energy, right? He says about you like, oh, she acts like she's so perfect. She thinks she's so perfect. And it's not that. It's just that you have standards. You've recognized your self-worth, right? You have raised your values. You have raised your standards. So now he's calling it, you know, you act like you're so perfect and you... You're the first one to say, hey, I'm not perfect. I mean, I am far from perfect, right? But those are some of the things that he says about you. But quite frankly, he views you as perfect, but he will not tell you that, okay? So again, that energy came through with him being inspired by you, low-key inspired about how you move, how you take care of your business, you know, your personality, you stay to yourself, so let's gain more insight. What is the energy spirit? What's popping? Look at that. The mask. Okay. Okay. Didn't I say hiding something? Secrets? Lying about some stuff? 
that mask energy. So, of course, there's that narcissistic energy coming through, okay? He knows that you have, you're able to pull that mask off. You have snatched it off. <laughs> and you felt like, damn, I snatched that mask off. Let me put it back on. Let me put that mask back on. You snatched that mask off his butt, all right? You, you did it. So... You're able to see some things that he didn't expect you to see. He did not want you to see because he has this persona, right? Of just basically of having like integrity. But you're like, boy, bye. That's not true. Like he does though. Listen, he has good within him. Everyone does. However, is he aligned with that good? Is the question that, you know, you are to ask. So it's not, it's not the person. Like you are judging. So yes, you just, you found out intuitively, you know. And with that intu intuition energy that just keeps coming up, this is about the moon. The mother is significant in this reading, right? The mother just keeps coming through. So, of course, if the mother is present, then the children are present as well, okay, within this energy. But but I feel like there's a third party kind of like talking to him, advising him, and stuff like that. I it's not a romantic partner. It's a platonic relationship. So let's gain more insight. And it's an older female that is advising this guy. But he doesn't, you know, he doesn't think that you are on to that. Let's gain more insight. Or he doesn't want you to catch on to that. What is the energy spirit as it does relate? What is this energy? Look at that, the dragonfly. Okay, so with the dragonfly, you know, he he definitely recognizes that you're lighthearted. <laughs> you're lighthearted. And not only with the dragonfly, this is about finding out. So Spirit just gave us that insight that he views you as someone that definitely has a great intuitive nature, meaning that how he would say it, I know dang on well, she's able to find out. I know she's able to find out. You know, and this is this is the message coming through for you. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about the secrets that he's hiding because whatever is done in the dark will come to light. You could bet that. So don't worry about it at all. The thing is, he sees you as someone that is being able to adapt, to change, right? To heal. You know, he thought you were for play. He literally thought you were for play, but he was mistaken. So if it would come from you to him, you would be saying something like this. <laughs> Thought I was for play, but you were mistaken. Yeah, took your kindness for weakness, but now he knows that you are strong. He like, I keep seeing you snatching that mask off. Let's do this something. So let's gain more insight. What's the energy spirit as it does relate? What is this energy spirit that is popping through? You know what? This guy, it's a strong resonance coming in with this energy here. And it's not, it's not necessarily negative and it's not positive. It's not even neutral though. It's just, it's, it is what it is. It's discord. Okay. Look at that. The emperor, strategic. He knows you're strategic. And then I say the mother. So the emperor is the father, a father figure. Okay. He respects you. He definitely respects you. He tries to act like he doesn't, but he respects you. He sees you as someone that is strategic, that you are planning, you know, the best journey for yourself, planning out your future. A father fig figure is significant. So we did get the mother. We got the mother that came through and now the father figure is coming through as well. 
So let's get more insight. What is the energy spirit as it does relate here? What is this energy? How does he view you? How does this guy view you? Are you serious? Like the emperor twice, two different decks? Of course, the energy is serious. Not serious like that. The energy is actually lighthearted. And I am just in a lighthearted mood, which could be the reason that the synchronicity did come out. I just want to give you a gem right now, number one, that if you really want to know the key to your manifestations, Aside from everything that you may have learned, the key is to relax. Just totally relax in the knowing that all is well and it is done, okay? And when you relax in that, you feel a certain way, right? So you feel like really calm, chill, and you're no matter what's going on, no matter if your bank account is at $5 or $500, you feel relaxed. You feel good. You feel like, hey, I can do this. This stuff is like, I got this. You know, things are coming to me. The universe is always conspiring in my favor. So I feel really good today. Okay. So I'm not really surprised that two emperor energies came out that part and this is respect right and we got that earlier in the energy we got that earlier with i inspire and i am inspired because i said loki he's inspired by you but he won't say it and he's inspired by like your ideas the things that come to your mind your creativity he's inspired by the love that you offer with the planet venus here love. He's inspired by your beauty, the way that you look, you know, your attractiveness, the way that you express yourself. These are things that he sits, he ponders, he thinks about. Okay. So two, two emperor cards. This is respect, baby. This is leadership. It's strategic planning. It is the father figure. So the father is significant. So uh, the father is coming through like a discussion about the father, something about the father, right? A discussion or, you know, a father. However, I feel like this is the energy that he ultimately, you know, desires to be. This is how he wants you to see him. That is what's coming through. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you, Spirit. He wants you to respect him and see him as a leader because he respects you and see you as a leader. You are the leader of your life. You take care of your business, your responsibilities. You get things done, okay? So the mother and the father are truly here. But is he wearing a mask? Is he hiding some ish? Well, it clearly indicates it because the mysterious energy com is coming through and he is kind of like, it's like he is ref like not reflecting, but um, he's saying these things to you. Like I can never, never figure, I can never figure you out. And sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. I never really know where I stand with you, but that is how you feel about him. So he is projecting. He is really projecting in that statement. But yes, some of it is true because he doesn't know where he stands with you. And how could he know? How could he know when he's two different people or most of the time? He has the mask on and sometimes the mask is off. Sometimes he is aligned with the greater version of who he is, but a lot of the times he's not which is why you will feel confused and you'll be scratching your head like, oh, what the heck just happened? Like, oh, what did he just say to me? What is going on? With Virgo here, you, you're discerning. He knows you're discerning. You're taking this relationship subtle. You're not moving too fast. And so he, he's recognizing your energy there. Okay? You're efficient. Dutiful. You're going to take care of your business. That's Virgo. That's the alchemist. Now, Virgo, let me just say this about Virgo. 
Virgo is <laughs> you cannot really you can't play with Virgo. This is the thing with Virgo. Okay. Virgo is, it is ruled by the sixth house. So just with that, I'm picking up that the number six is either in your birthday, birth month, birth year, or his as a confirmation. And the sixth house rules over health, job, and daily routines. Okay. So with that energy, there's that reliability. He views you as someone that is able to create like certain habits or routine so that you can get things done. You're reliable. And quite frankly, he's hoping and praying that he can depend on you. So keep that in mind, especially with the moon coming through in the intuition. Because trust yourself, there are some things that, of course, you have not seen about him. Unseen things with the moon. There are voluntary changes that you had to make with this relationship connection. And with that moon energy, spirit is just encouraging you, number one, to trust yourself. You have a synchronicity here. Stay strategic with your planning, right? He respects you wholeheartedly, no matter how he comes off verbally, he admires a lot of your characteristic traits, right? Your, how you're grounded. You're loyal in a relationship connection, right? You're not going to lie. You're not going to play games, right? So those are the things, some of the things that um, he's inspired by. Those are some of the reasons that he does respect you. And so beautiful number one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, drop a comment below. I love reading your comments. They definitely, they make my day. They warm my heart. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hi, number two, welcome to your reading. How does he view you right now? I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Let's get straight into your reading. Here, you're drawn to the tiger eye crystal. Now, this is the raw cut crystal, which is what I love about this crystal, right? It is raw. It is, uh, it is unpolished, just straight from the earth. Tiger eye is that earth energy. So you got Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo either in the top placements of your chart or his as a confirmation in the reading, all right? Tiger Eye, this is about stability. It's about the energy of creativity, right? And good fortune, okay? So I love that. I love that you're drawn to this energy here. I am picking up loyalty, just starting out. This guy sees you as someone that wants to be in a, committed relationship. You are not about cheating. You can't stand it. And if he's going to cheat, then he will not be cheating on your watch, right? So let's see what your card has. This is the leader, the sun. Leo, that zodiac, Leo, fire, spontaneous, temperamental, creative, Leo, right? Leo is the only zodiac that is ruled by the sun. Okay. And he's not going to play with you. This guy feels like, Oh, I better not play with her. I'm going to get burnt. Like literally, if he keeps playing around with you, trying to play games, right? I feel like he's just not really communicative like you would like him to be. So with Leo coming through, you know, I lead from the heart. That's exactly how he feels. He feels like you are a person. You're going to share exactly how you feel express yourself fully and not play games. You can't stand that stuff. Okay. So I feel like he definitely views you as someone that's confident. You're brilliant. You're purposeful. Like if you're going to do something, you have a reason, you have a purpose for getting things done. 
You're committed. That, that's Leo. That's the sun energy. The sun is the life giver. Okay. So you're positive. He's actually drawn in by your positive energy, your, your the conversations that you have, right? It's just like really positive and passionate. Okay. Trustworthy. He knows that he can trust you. He knows that. Can you trust him? Well, that is the question. So let's gain more insight. What is the energy as it does come through? What is that energy spirit? <clears throat> okay. This is it. He says, hey, this is jealousy. I'm very jealous. I can barely stand it. Right? That's that devil energy. And I told you I would not leave anything out. So that is that devil energy. That's envy. You know what I'm saying? It's like obsession. He's obsessed. He loves your energy. We just got that with the energy here with the sun. The positive energy. He doesn't want you talking to no one else. You know, giving nobody else those positive vibes. Uplifting other people. With the sun here, I'm also seeing that like um, he finds you like very attractive. You know, extremely attractive, gorgeous, okay? And he doesn't tell you that quite often because he doesn't want you to know it. Because he feels like if you know it, it will raise your confidence and then you will feel like you will question whether or not, you know, he should be in your life or if he's good enough for you to, you know, communicate with or just even connect with, right? So... But with that, he's leading from his ego. So he's leading from fear, worry, and doubt, right? And that low vibrational-ish, okay? That's where, that's where he's leading from. That is what jealousy is, all right? And with that jealousy, there's addiction. Something about addiction here. He's wondering if, do you know that he's addicted to something, he, he he's thinking that he's he's looking at you in that way. Like, does she know I'm? Ad I wonder if she can tell that I'm addicted to this. Right. Sexual lust. I told you I would not leave anything out. Sexual lust is coming through. Okay. So let's gain more insight. What is the energy spirit as it does relate? What is this energy? And this card is like, hey, I want to say something. That's that semi-sextile. That's allowing. That's encouraging. Seeing the potential in everything is clarifying. It gives hope and it compensates, right? It gives hope. It's about tempers too as well. I do want to point out that a semi-sextile, that is an aspect between planets in your astrological birth chart. So for example, you can have a sextile between the sun and the planet Venus, and it's, it's a good vibration, right? It's a high frequency energy, okay? Yeah. So he also wants, uh, is wondering if you can tell that, you know, he has a temper, He's like, like he's temperamental. Sometimes he's hot. Sometimes he's cold. Sometimes he's on. Sometimes he's off. And it's like, it's like back and forth, like a teeter totter, right? That's what's coming through. It's like cycles. Things are happening in cycles with this relationship connection. But he sees you as someone that has this growth mindset. Like you want things to grow just like the plant here on the semi sextile. You're, will you allow him in your life? Will you allow him in your life with the semi-sex style? But he realizes though, he realizes now that you are spot on with what's going on. There's a spotlight here on this connection. And so he realizes that you know. He, he's, hmm, he knows that you give hope. You're, you're an encouraging person. Let's gain more insight. Thank you, spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? The vision. 
I love the vision coming through because that's creativity. That's in close correlation here with the sun. That sun energy in Leo, that's wand. The wand energy. Tarot wand is fire and creativity. So with the vision, he's viewing you as someone, you have a vision, you, you, you have a purpose. You want things to grow. You're just not, you don't want even a relationship, right? You want it to be a good connection, not just, if you're in a relationship with someone, you want that to be a damn good relationship or why would you be there, okay? And he knows this, so he definitely thinks quite often whether or not he's even good enough for you, whether or not, you know, it will work out. So he's he's definitely has concerns about the future of the relationship. Let's gain more insight. This one came out, just dropped out. There's the keys on a ring. Keys on a ring. He knows that you have many options. You don't have to settle. There's no way that you have to settle. You have so many options. Why would you settle? It's like, why would I settle? Tell me, why in the heck would I settle? I don't have to settle. He's also thinking about like, who could you possibly be interested in? Is there someone else that you have your focus on? Like the sun, you know how the sun is, is shining, right? And when you're in the sun, you sometimes feel like the sun is only shining on me. I'm standing in the sun. Let me get in the shade. So that's something he thinks about. Like, who could you have your eyes on? This is an unconventional relationship connection with the keys on the ring. Stringing along. So there's just, there's that, like that string along energy. He's, he's, do you feel like you're being strung along with this person? Because I am getting a strong, like, it's like he's stringing you along. A one night stand is coming through as well. And I told you, I'm, I'm going to tell you everything. You need to know the yin and the yang. You need to know it. You need to know both sides. So let's gain more insight. What is the energy spirit as it, it does relate? What is this energy spirit? Mm -hmm. There's the Knight of Wands. <laughs> what I am intrigued about is that the Knight of Wands is the same color combo as the Sun card. And that wand energy is fire. It's Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. It's the same exact energy, that Knight of Wands. Okay? Same energy as the Sun. Not the same message, but it is fire. It's creativity. Now... We got earlier, right? We got that sexual lust. Well, guess what? Guess what? The Knight of Wands is a lusty and free-spirited person that has lots of creativity. So he's seeing you in this way. He's seeing you as very sexual, right? Very, like, he's attracted to you. In this way, sex is a big part of how he views you. Sex, sexuality, you know, sexual subject matter. Okay. So let's gain more insight. What is the energy as it does relate? What is this energy spirit that is coming through? What is it? What's popping in spirit? And spirit is lighthearted and fun, you guys. So when you relax in the knowing that all is well and that you're connected, you'll get these answers. You, The spirit is here to validate, answer your questions and concerns. So that's why I encourage you in the intro of the video to choose the card that calmly draws you the most. Because when you are relaxed and you're lighthearted, your 
answers come to you a lot faster, okay? So let's gain more. Look at the two of cups. Did I just <laughs> did I just say that he thinks about your options? The two of cups energy. But of course, the cup energy, it is emotional. It's water. It's cancer. Scorpio. Pisces. It's sensitive. It's mysterious. That's that cup energy. And with the two of cups, that's a romantic love, a partnership, a proposal, or even a marriage. These are things that are on his mind. This is how he views you. He's constantly thinking about this energy of the two of cups. Sensitive in his feelings about it. Although he portrays to be cool, calm, and collected most of the time, but in his mind is this energy as he looks at you, as he views you, you know, as like a romantic love, a partnership, a proposal, a marriage. And so beautiful number two, this does conclude your reading. I just want to say marriage is standing out like a, a, a relationship and romantic love. That's really strong in his mind. I, I just really wanted to add emphasis on that. Okay. That, that is deep. Deep. And he thinks about it a lot. And there's jealousy around this issue of marriage. Propose or relationship or romantic love. What he's seeing in his mind here. Mm -hmm. Beautiful number two. This does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, leave a comment below because I love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hi, number three. Welcome to your reading. How does he view you right now? I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Let's get straight into your reading. I see here your energy. You're naturally drawn to the rainbow moonstone. And with the rainbow moonstone, right, this is the energy that brings balance, harmony, and hope right? While enhancing your compassion, your endurance, and your inner confidence. I love this crystal here because, you know, it's raw, it's unpolished, and so this is really beautiful. I love the polished crystals as well, but to see how they come out, you know, straight from the earth is really fascinating. So let's gain more insight. Number three, you're drawn to your moon card, the queen the moon, baby, is about unseen situations, unseen problems, okay? It's also about voluntary changes. And this is a clear message from spirit, a clear message from spirit, being that you were drawn to the moon card to trust your intuition. Because you've been saying to yourself, did I see that? Did I hear that? Did that happen? Did he do this? What did he say? Trust your intuition. This is divine feminine energy. The moon rules over the mother. It also rules over the zodiac sign of cancer. So cancer is significant, either in the top placements of your chart or his. The sun, moon, or rising, seventh house of relationships, or the planet Venus, okay? And so with the moon coming through, this is sensitive energy. That water energy is mysterious. It's imaginative. It's emotional. Okay. And he is viewing you in this way. He's viewing you in, in those ways, sensitive. But what I'm picking up from him is that he has feelings too, right? And he's saying these things to himself. I have feelings too. She doesn't know that I have feelings. And yes, you do because he's always in them, right? So you pretty much can tell that, yes, you do have feelings. I can tell boo. You're in your feelings today, but he recognizes your queen essence, powerful, courageous, compassionate, again, intuitive. You're tapped in and you're responsible. He can rely, he can rely on you. You're trustworthy. He can depend on you and he knows it. There's no one that compares to you. Absolutely no one. Okay. 
because he's, he's trying, he has tried to find you in other places and other people and, and things, right? Just parts of your personality trait, things like that. So let's, let's gain more insight. What is the energy spirit as it does relate? What is this energy? Others' opinions. I feel bound by my culture and my family's beliefs on how I should live my life. I'm working towards breaking free from limiting myself based on their beliefs. What I'm picking up is that you too have this challenge in common. Something to do with both of your families or someone in your families and their opinions about what you should do, how you should do it, when you should do it, right? And so he views you as sort of like, it's like that, by having that, that is what con that is what makes the connection between you two. That is what initiated that connection. Is that you have this in common, feeling bound by your culture and your family's beliefs and how they view you, how you should live your life, the things that you're working on, right? And and breaking free from those limited beliefs. So let's gain more insight. What is the energy as it does relate? What is this energy spirit? The Gemini. Look at the Gemini coming through. And that's air. You know, air doesn't attach to anything. Air is everywhere. And Gemini, of course, could be in the top placements of your chart or his. So he's curious about you. He's very curious about you. I feel like he definitely could be stalking your social media pages with a private account like three private accounts, wondering where you where you are, what you're doing, who you're dating. Are you out to dinner with someone? Who are your friends? How are you feeling? What post are you making? So he's nosy and curious in that way. And the energy, the tarot energy of that would be the page of swords. So it's like he's gossiping about this connection. He's talking to someone about this connection. He has prying eyes because he feels like, I want to find out the truth. I want to know the truth. And it makes perfect sense, especially with you being drawn to the moon. And so the moon is about secrets. It's about things you can't see. Unseen problems, unseen situations. So, right? So this is the thing. He knows you're able to communicate here with the planet, with, with Jupiter, and Jupiter is ruled by Mercury, which is the planet of communication. It's about intellect, right? So he knows that you know how to communicate. That's how he views you. As brilliant, you're perceptive. Look at the moon. Gemini is perception. It's the energy. You're perceptive. You can pick up on things. You're street smart. He knows he, he really, all the things, the well, the interactions that you've had with him, certain interactions, he knew that he couldn't lie to you. Like it, you, you kind of played along with a lot of the stuff because you're like, okay, you want to believe him. You want to give him the benefit of the doubt. However, he always knew all along that you're street smart. This guy has a superficial energy. So he has a superficial energy. It, it's the low vibrational Gemini. And with all zodiac signs, there's high vibrational energy and low vibrational energy. So everything is about energy, right? And resonance. So energy, vibration, and resonance. So <laughs> there's this, he oftentimes, oftentimes, projects like he oftentimes has a superficial energy like this restlessness a fidgety can't sit still loves to talk loves to talk he's a variety seeking individual okay so let's gain more insight what is the energy spirit as it does relate what is this energy coming through the mirror 
was just going to say the mirror. And I said the mirror, actually, I gave that mirroring each other energy with the other's opinions here. I said that this is something that you guys have experienced as a challenge in your own families each. And there's the mirror energy coming through. So this is a nice confirmation to see the mirror energy coming through. It's like the self-image, relationships, reflecting our own wounds, okay? Introspection. So he does see that you're the type of person that will look inside and say, hey, I did that. I know I did that. I'm, you know, I can take accountability for my actions. Yes, he knows that. That mirror. And sometimes you guys do mirror each other. You you will mirror each other's high frequencies. Yes, so you guys tend to mirror each other's, you know, personality and like your characteristic traits, right? He sees you as someone that, you know, he views you as someone that does reflect a lot, you know, reflecting on your wounds and things like that. He worries about his self-image quite a bit. So let's let's gain more insight. What is the energy spirit? Ooh. So let's see. Look at the man. You cannot make this energy up. You cannot make this energy up. Okay. It's the mask. Spirit just gave us that insight that he's concerned about his self-image. So this is the mask. So he wears a mask a lot, okay? And he wears this mask because he doesn't want other people to judge him because he has been judged before by his family, his friends, and just, you know, growing up and things like that. So that's why he wears that mask. You've picked up borderline narcissism energy. You have picked that up. You have looked it up to see if he has matched any of these things or you have been thinking about. Maybe I should see whether or not he's a narcissist. And I encourage you to educate yourself on that, right? And trust your intuition. Not only... Trusting your intuition, but trust the actions, trust things that he has shown you, right? Paired with your intuitive abilities. Let's gain more insight. What is the energy as it does relate? What is the energy spirit? There's the five of wands. There's that challenge with the five of wands. The five of wands, fire, creativity, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. But there's that bullying. It's like a bully vibe. You know what I'm saying? There, there's theft, something to do with theft, stealing of time, or even something physical. <laughs> yeah. Rivalry. There, there's. It's really like rivalry or challenges or like our obstacles, something's in the way of him being able to connect with you, communicate with you. There's a challenge. There's an obstacle in the way of him being able to connect with you emotionally. Something's going on. What's happening is what he's thinking. Why is there such a challenge that I cannot get through to her? What is this obstacle? And also sports. Significant sports, either the watching, the loving, or the playing of sports. It's coming through quite clear, very strong. So let's gain more insight. What is the energy spirit as it does relate? Okay, there it is. There's that confirmation with the eight of swords. Sword energy, Gemini. There's that eight, eight of swords. It's self-imposed restrictions. It's isolation. It's imprisonment as well. 
So because he feels like he can't be free, right? He self restricts. He holds back his emotions. He holds back his creative abilities because he has been trained to not express himself fully. He be, views you as someone that is, is, is a lot better at communicating than he is. Right? You're flexible. He knows this. You're flexible. You'll try several different things to accomplish your goals versus, you know, him. He's a little bit slower at, at you know, tapping into his gifts and his talents, but he admires the fact that you're, he sees you as being very brilliant, right? And vocal. Very brilliant and vocal. You're curious as well with the Gemini energy. Self-imposed restrictions. There's isolation. Imprisonment. So, so beautiful number three. This does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, drop a comment below. I love reading your comments because they definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.